All right, this is a dumpster that I've turned into a chip collector, and I built a manifold with four inch PVC DWD uh, pipes on it, and the pipes just slip in and out. Uh, this thing is designed to store alongside the garage where my other dumpsters are, and then when I'm doing some heavy duty planing, I'll pull this one out, hook it up, and uh, do the thing with it. Uh, this one doesn't need any dust collection. Uh, it just has a sock now on it and uh, just clamp it down good and tight and let her roll but that's uh, pretty good gets a little hefty lifting that up all right i had a clamp come off of the top of my dumpster and it started shooting dust all over the place but before i noticed that i was having a lot of dust accumulating around the planer and uh, just the blowout or the throw out of the chips in a kind of a round circle over here. They're not going very far, but they're they're making quite a bit of a mess, which is unacceptable to me. So we're not done yet. We'll try this again here. Okay, I just got through getting all them boards down to three quarters of an inch, and uh, I had this gas this uh, clamp come off, and the gasket was blown out the side. So it covered my floor with dust like that right there all the way around us in a matter of 10 seconds. And then uh, it was doing pretty good, but I think it's full now. So it was this full when I first started. Now I think it's probably full all the way to the top. We'll pop the lid. I'm going to mark where these clamps are so that I can put some more of these so I won't need that. That way I won't have any trouble with them falling off or vibrating off and and losing out and and that will fix that problem so let me get those off and we'll look inside and see what it looks like all right she's pretty full the uh all these are just a like a towel wrapped around there i'm gonna put like a cotton sock on it kind of clean them up but that's just a towel with a uh oh one of them girls uh things that go around their hair little ponytail thing uh, a little stronger than rubber band Anyway, that's in there. Um, I'm probably about almost three quarters away full. My overflow bag doesn't have anything in it. And once I kept my seal tight, it was fairly clean on the floor. But I still have, this was here before, but this is just coming out from the planer, which you're going to get some of that. As long as it ain't blowing around my shop, I'm okay with a bunch. So that was, uh, oh, I don't know, one, two, three, four probably about well they're four foot long and they're over there on that table so let's clean them up they were about an inch and a quarter off and they're down to three quarters so it's quite a bit of shavings okay to dump this just pull this little guy here off of there and walk out to the dumpster and dump it out okay after a little trial and error i found that if i clamped the corners on here they work good i used just my little standard old clamps like those on there for their first time and then uh after i figured out it was going to work then i just decided well, i won't tie my clamps up and i'll use the knobs i'm going to loosen them they spin out of the way and this will come off there in about a minute or two and uh the nice thing about this is the clamps won't vibrate off i did have one I vibrated off in the front and it just covered my shop in dust in about oh, about a minute and uh after it split up this thing here just come out that dewalt uh it sh it flat puts out some pressure and uh anyway so gotta make sure that it's good and clamped down and there it is the clamps are just a oak knob with a nut pressed into it and then it's got a an all rod that's coming down i'm getting ready to cut some more of these all rods off but uh they're in there and they're pressed into the to the nut that's double nutted with the nut inside here and the cnc makes that easy work so we're going to go ahead and clean up some of them and make them a little less hazardous and then there's the baffling uh set up all this is is, is a bag it's a pillowcase on this end in comes from your planer it doesn't need to be hooked up to anything comes in here and shoots down in the corner and then this return goes out to a T in the middle of this. The T's right here on each side of it. I have a irrigation little green spot that sticks out of the grass for like, so irrigation can push out or, or rainwater can push out or go back in. It's just kind of like one of the little green things you'll find them at Lowe's for three or four dollars. 
and then I just have a sock uh, rubber banded over the top of that and it's doing really pretty good um, I've already filled it up today um, with dust and I've done some planing and um, I've got I resaw my wood from logs I'll get logs about four foot long and then resaw them let them sticker so this woods all been in my possession for a couple of years year and a half two years and uh, I've got all the plain the cedar plain there's some maple in there that maple was uh, given to me but uh, it was still uh, fairly rough so and then the walnut is I've got several pallets still in the shed drying so having some fun out here and that's that